In this video, I'm going to show you briefly how to put doors and windows through a thick wall. So I'm going to first switch over to my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle where I might want a door to be. So maybe I'll make it, say, 3 feet by 7 feet. Okay, so that would be 3 by 7. I'm now going to switch to the push-pull tool. I'm going to do a single click, not push pull. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to click and drag. I'm just going to do a single click. And then I'm going to do a single click to this interior edge. So what I'm telling you to do is push pull exactly to that uh, distance. Now, by doing that, it's now opened it up. So it's kind of see-through. Uh, I can do that with my interior walls, too. So let's say I want a door here, 3 feet by 7 feet, enter. Then switch to push pull. I'm going to do a single click here and then a single click to the interior edge so that that's opened up. And I can do a similar thing with windows. So let's say, oh, let's change my view here. Let's say I want to put two windows on this side. So I might start off with, let's say, I don't know, a six foot by three foot window. And maybe I want to repeat this again. I could use my select tool and double click on this so it's highlighted. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then if I start moving around, it shows up. So I might leave it here for a second just so it references that point and then try to move over to the right so it'll be even. And click it down when I'm happy with it. So now I want to push pull those through to the other side. So I'm going to press push pull or press P on my keyboard. I'm going to do a single click on that face, a single click onto the interior edge, single click, single click. Now right now there's nothing in there. Okay, so it's just completely empty. If I want it to look like there's glass, there's something else that I could do. So I can go back to the rectangle tool and put a rectangle back in, which I know sounds silly, but we need a surface to paint. So now I'm going to go over to the right and click materials. And initially it just shows you ones that are like already in the project or recently used things. But if you go to the upper right where it says uh, browse, you can look in various categories of uh, materials. I'm going to scroll down to where it says glass and mirrors and maybe pick this one that looks like it's reflecting the sky. And then I can paint that surface.